Alright, I am back, and it looks like Mike is here. Hello, Mike. Hello, bro, Sanchez. Let me go ahead and turn your audio up. Oh, I, you know what? I think there's a reason you're here. We've got some special stuff coming up for people. Yes, this endurance game has specifically been chosen by me. Ooh, scary. So before I reveal what game it is, what what do you want to say? Do you have to have to? I, I don't know. Do you have any looming hints or anything? Uh, uh well, I'll just say this: the movie is. Uh, it was produced by a very famous uh, writer, producer, director, and it has a, a scintillating 22% on Rotten Tomatoes. 22%? That's that's pretty impressive. Well, uh, yes, yeah, so this game is based off of a movie, and this is a movie that... Have you ever seen, Mike? So, it was actually on Netflix at one point, and I only watched the movie so I could you know like know more about the game and commentate on the match and really the game only very loosely follows the movie as in locations and like it's just like really bad slapstick oh. is all i can say it's like humor like ha 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 these criminals are getting hit in the face and stuff like that that's so funny my favorite and, and l let me remind you that this is a very famous uh, producer, director, writer, and I'm not going to reveal it until the game is revealed, but when I tell you who it is, you're going to be pretty shocked who it is. Okay, I'm showing it right now, because the game is... Some people in chat guessed it. It's Baby's Day Out. Yes, so this game is actually not released. However, there is a fully complete ROM uh, for the Genesis that is online. It was supposed to be for Super Nintendo, Genesis, and Game Boy, but the only uh, ROM that's floating around online is for the Genesis. And the reason why it will shock you what the uh, who the director and producer and writer is, is that the is that it's John Hughes. He didn't direct this movie, but he was the producer, and I think he wrote the script. And let me tell you, he, he, he fell a long way from the 80s. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I love it. That that just makes me happy. And, and you might be like, a Genesis game? Most 16-bit games aren't long enough for an endurance round. Oh, trust me. This game is long enough for endurance round. I'm not going to spoil how long it is or how many stages there are until you know later in the match. But like, it is definitely long enough for an endurance round. Because I have beat this game. Yeah. Yeah, you, you definitely have. Yes, it is High Tech Expression, the same guys who published the DOS Mega Man games. What? And we're we're back, a dinosaur story. No, I hate that <laughs> game. <laughs> My... I still haven't tried that game, by the way. You still haven't? Well... And apparently there's a sequel called Dinosaur Adventures. I feel like... I feel like I might have played that, but... We're back is so bad. It's so, so bad. I hate it. I hate it with, like, all of my soul, okay? I played for hours. Yeah, um, I'm not... I'm not 100% sure why this game wasn't released, but I noticed High Tech Expression has no games past 1994, and this movie and the copyright is 1994, so my assumption is that they went out of business or they were bought out and the game was never published. You know, that, that sounds about right. But also, considering that, you know, this game is based off of a movie that, like, nobody cared about. It wouldn't shock me if people cared about it back in the day, because it's John Hughes behind it. So, like, it had a big producer-writer behind it. Uh, but the movie's just bad. And not, like, so bad it's funny. It's just not good. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. John Hughes, that's it's, okay. It's, not all of them can be winners. Yeah, uh, it's also worth noting that even though this game was not only a critical bomb but an off box office bomb in the states for some reason in india and south asia the movie was insanely popular and it's been remade a couple of times in uh certain indian dialects and language languages Ooh. and i have no clue why it's popular in india but it is it's like a <laughs> mega hit in india what? it's like there's star wars or something i don't know i don't understand <laughs> i didn't really do research on this but it's just so 
bizarre. <laughs> that is a bit odd, but hey, that that's cool, you know? Yes, Everybody it does have one have... of the Sex in the City women, and she imitates an English accent. It's not that great. Uh, <laughs> um, Let's see. I think it's the one with the red hair. She imitates an accent, and it's bad. Yeah. That's, that's what I like in my American movies. Us trying to. Uh, Jables, I need to know why too. I think there was actually a crack.com article about Baby's Day Out, so maybe we can find it there. Because it's really strange because the game bombed everywhere except for India and South Asia. That's. Yeah, that's really strange. Okay, uh, let me see. So here are Andy's words. Oh man, the hot demo giving me the hot tech. Oh no, this looks way worse than I ever could have imagined. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it's pretty, pretty ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Okay, uh, I might need to crop with... Uh, yes, it was Cynthia bit. Nixon. That is the one. And yes, the person who was go- running for governor in New York State. Uh-oh. Wait, really? Okay, I hear a few boops and beeps. Let me crank this up for everybody watching. So, for those of you who are very confused by the demo and the like, this game has pre-rendered graphics, because that was what was hot in the mid-90s, and it's a puzzle game. (laughs) It certainly is. It's puzzling (laughs) how this game was ever made. But here we are. Uh, it's related to the film because there's a baby and there's criminals chasing it. That's how it's related to the film. This isn't officially... This this did get the copyright and everything and the okay from Fox. Because this is back when video games and movies were like... Movies were like, hey, video games make some money. Sure, we'll make a video game based on the movie. No, <laughs> we don't care who makes it. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is... Uh... Yeah, it's like every movie became a video game. And this one is one of the more puzzling movie-based video games of them all. Like, I, I don't understand how this yeah, like, ever came Yeah, like, I don't be. get the target demographic. Because, you know, even in the 90s when games were targeted more for, like, kids, teenagers, and maybe, like, really young adults, like, you know, in their early 20s, but, like, I don't see what demographic this appeals to. The Baby demographic. The ba- the, no, it doesn't the even appeal to The middle-aged criminal, bumbling criminal demographic. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's a demographic. So, if you want to know how I discovered this game, uh, I got a Genesis flash cart last year, and at AGDQ uh, 2018, um, we were just, you know, going through some of my ROMs, and someone, and I don't remember who it was, it might have been Boogalo. It might have been Dana, but there were like about four or five people watching me do this. And someone pointed out Baby's Day Out. What's that? And then I tried the game and just everything about it was like, oh, wow, this has to be in Cuso Grande. And then when I discovered how long it was with you, Brosentia, then we were like, this has to be an endurance round. Yeah. And like it... Because the early Oh, by stages... the way, the stage that you're showing with the trees in the background, you are not going to see that in the match. I, I, they are not going to make it that far in two hours. Yeah, Ambi is saying I'm ready for two hours, or to lose two hours of my life to mediocrity, and I'm like, no, this is not mediocre. This is one of the strongest puzzle games I think that we could choose. <laughs> Okay, we're just about ready. It looks like with Chris and Keith currently typing in chat. So they need to watch the intro, right? Uh, Yes, the intro is very special. Although you might have seen it a couple times with the demo playing through, but we still need to see it because it's so hideous. <laughs> the baby! <laughs> I love this game, it's too good. 
Okay. Oh, are you just watching the demo? Yeah, the bubbles. Uh, the bubbles. The bubbler is really weird to use. I'll explain it. I'll okay. explain how the game works and everything after. Oh, by the way, I explain nothing about the game except that they have unlimited continues and they can retry it. And it uses three buttons on the Genesis controller. All yeah. three of them. Okay, they're letting the intro play out. Oh, man, look at that hot digitized rendered van and the three criminals from the movie carrying the baby. Not creepy at all. I hope someone gets the baby gets caught by the criminals because it's really special. What sound plays when that happens? <gasps> it's so wrong, but so funny. Oh, I do love it. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. OK, so, yeah, they're just going through the question marks and they're just figuring out the controls. If it looks like they're drunkenly flying ever, that's because this game has incredibly strong momentum and inertia. Yes. Uh, it's worth noting that the controls, which I did not tell the players, are A, possesses objects and lets you pass the stage uh, once the baby reaches the goal. And B, looks around and C, uh, does an action when you're possessing an object. Wait, you have to possess the baby at the end? No, you don't have to possess the baby, but when the baby's in place, you have to reach the flag. And, and I, the I feel like you're possessing the baby, okay? That... <laughs> And if you're wondering, what's this floating smiley face doing? What does this have to do with the movie? It has nothing to do with the movie. Like, I thought maybe the floating smiling face was, like, maybe helping the baby, you know, get guided throughout the movie and everything. And it's worth noting there's a lot of question marks in the earlier stages because you will, A, have a lot of question marks and what the heck is going on in this game, and B, uh, it's they're actually pretty helpful. So that's why I didn't really give oh, them yeah. controls. They are. So, so what they have to, to figure out now is how the ladders work and getting the baby up them, which means you need a block right next to the ladder, but you can't be blocking the ladder like Andy just did. You have to let the baby touch the ladder and then touch the block, and then the baby will know to go up the ladder. And there are stages really late in the game that actually use uh, the exact properties of which ba way the baby faces when it's climbing up the ladder, so to make sure that he doesn't get caught by the criminals. Um, oh, yeah. There are two ways to fail a stage in this game. Well, actually three ways. Um, the first is that the baby gets caught by the criminals. Yeah. Then you get the message, and you'll you'll know what I mean when you see it. Oh yeah, for sure. It's an stream because we, we must hear it at least once. Uh, <laughs> There's uh, the, and also you can get killed by any number of bullets or objects or enemies that are around the screen. I love and, the, Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. And the third way is that you just soft lock yourself because you used a key in a wrong place or something like that. This game actually has really detailed, intricate puzzles. It's like they were making a sincere effort at a puzzle game, but they forgot they were making it for a crappy licensed movie. Oh. Okay, Andy really threaded the needle there with the birds, but made it through just fine. It's worth noting that the shoes are the only thing that can go up and down the ladders, and don't ask me why there are floating shoes. Yeah, <laughs> and so... And no, baby does not take uh, fall damage notebooked. I would say there are some very odd aspects to this, and honestly, it combines multiple genres. You've got platforming, you've got mazes, you've got puzzles, uh... You've, you've got shooting at times. Like, it, it's strange. It's so bizarre, this game. I know! And the thing is, they're, they, like, get more hideous and stuff like that. Like, there are dolls that just look plain creepy. Yeah. Okay, you've got these birds. Okay, and yeah, you're gonna um, go to the So, what's worth noting, and this is the one tech that Grimora taught me, is that when you're flying, you can actually use the look to immediately stop yourself and kill all your momentum. I oh, call yeah. it the Grimora stop, and it actually lets you maneuver faster than you normally can, because otherwise cornering is very, very imprecise. It's, and yes, yeah. there's baby okay and baby out status. So far, a Andy is ahead. He's really getting a good grasp of this game, but the later stages just get so evil that there's definitely time for Chris and Keith to catch up. Yeah, so what's baby out? Uh, baby out means that the baby has reached the flag and you can now beat the stage. Oh, uh, you okay. might notice these gates. Um, the gates require keys, and I think Chris and Keith has the key to that gate and just hasn't touched it. Um, you can only touch it when you're in guardian angel form. And uh, But there are gates with no, no shape on them, and those gates must be opened by the baby. <laughs> and there are actually puzzles oh, like involving getting the baby through, but then like you have to shoot all the enemies or else he'll get caught by the criminals. It like it's weird. They put a lot of thought into this game, but then they forgot like all of the hideous sound effects and music and graphics and 
momentum and everything that's going on. And the thing is, there are actually a couple of objects that control just fine. Uh, in particular, later in the game, there's a helicopter and that controls like pretty smoothly. Yeah. Okay, Andy just trying to take his shoes all over the place. Like, here's the deal. I'm not sure shoes are the best indicator for climbing ladders. Like, I feel like disembodied hands might be better. Yeah, but they are what they are. And there are many puzzles involving the shoes because they're the only way to climb ladders. Oh, yeah. I think Andy's going to get a robber in a little... No, no, no. He's fine. Oh, no, music baby is so eight. in I, I love the music in this game. It's so good. Yeah, it's pretty maximum Genesis electro fart or electro. Okay, I think Andy works. killed the robber with bubbles. That's always nice. Yeah, uh I'm pretty sure the fourth or fifth stage, the baby will get caught by a robber at that point. Wow, what a baby. <laughs> what a baby. <laughs> yeah, so the way the baby works is that it just walks left and right until you direct it somehow. Um, there are certain stages where you need to stop the baby with a block so it doesn't fall off. There, uh, There's a lot of puzzles involving the baby. Um, obvious, uh, there's a couple of stages where the baby can just flat out fall off, and if that happens, you lose the stage. <laughs> and yeah, don't ask me why the angel's music. a giant smiley face. <laughs> like, it has nothing to do with the movie. It's your guardian angel, Mike. As, as you can it tell, is. Th this is what my guardian angel looks like, and I try never to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, because it's always looking and smiling. It's there. It's over my shoulder. Want it to or not? Yeah. Every once yes. in a while, I see something in the corner of my vision. And, I'm like, ah. and it's worth noting the, the status meter. So top left is the timer. Yes. It's not an issue in too many of the earlier stages, except for the last stage of this area. So basically, there's, I want to say there's six areas. Yeah, there's six areas. And there are um, a bunch of stages within each area. And the reason why I know the players, I have no fear of the players beating this within two hours is because there are six areas and that averages out to about five stages per area. And yes, that means there are 30 stages in this game. And that does not include the bonus levels, which you cannot skip. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, and like, I have actually beat this game and this was done like on and off because, you know, the game is actually really good about letting you, you know, pick up and play with your progress with the passwords. And it probably took me somewhere around 10 to 15 hours of on and off <laughs> sessions of playing this game. And I had to use a guide for um, two stages because I just couldn't figure them out. Yeah, I could see that. So 10 to 15 hours. I'm taking a look by the way, at some yes. of oh, the... Oh, and it's worth noting well, that some of the later stages give you a timer of 10 minutes, and you really need that 10 minutes to complete the stage. Oh, yeah. Because I had, like, one or two minutes when I completed those stages. We're going to see time out for sure at least once. Yes. In fact, uh, Andy's getting a little close to it, um, but I don't think it's a fear because I think the exit to this level is actually pretty close by. I actually don't remember the earlier levels too well because it's been so long since I've played them. <laughs> He's just wanting to make sure that robbers die, so that's good. Uh, it, okay, and if you're wondering what those globes are, those are eyes. And the timer for that is how much time you have to look throughout the stage. So this is a stage where it is likely that the baby will get caught because you have to shoot a bunch of robbers. And what Andy's probably going to do is he's going to shoot the clocks, but you shouldn't do that. You actually have to collect the clocks by oh, walking yeah. over them. He's definitely yep, going to. Yeah, yep, he, he shot them, which means he's not gaining time. And that is going to screw him because you don't have enough time unless you collect the clocks. But it feels like that's what you need to do. I know, right? It's very stupid, but you actually have to get out, unpossess the, the crosshair, which is one of the best controlling things in the game. There's oh, no inertia momentum. Out. It's very responsive. And... It's so dumb. What a <laughs> dumb mechanic. So dumb. That's what's so great about this game. 
And so for those of you wondering like how progress is going to be tracked outside of stages, um, I, it's in one of two ways. Uh, one is baby progress. In a level like this, baby progress is important because the baby is always moving. In a level where like you can't really free the baby until later in the stage, then we'd go by the number of keys collected and used. Okay, Andy is luckily able to shoot through walls with this specific cannon. Okay, yeah. Oh, he's... and now he's going to learn to use the bubbler, except he only has 10 seconds. And I think that... It's going to be No, no, you're just, he's just going to get a timeout. And now he's going to wonder what the heck is going... Wow, he is really good at using the bubbler. Wow, that was surprising. And Liz, you'll be happy to know that even though this game was being developed for the Super Nintendo Genesis and Game Boy, the only living ROM of it is for the Genesis, in true Kuso fashion. Oh yeah. It's, oh no, Andy, get, oh. Andy was almost in trouble there. Okay, Andy, Andy learned the clocks really fast. Yeah, uh, I don't think Chris and Keith has quite figured that out yet. Oh no. Oh, the baby got caught. So. You need to hear that sound effect because it's simultaneously hilarious and disturbing, and I'm not going to tell you why, but let me tell you something. They should not have used such a tone of voice for the gotcha because yeah. he here's how you'd imagine the gotcha. You know, I'm like a kind of cheesy, like 1920s, 1950s sound like gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, but uh, no, that's not what it's like at all. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm excited. We need to hear that. <laughs> uh, and, and the thing is, I'm sure it will happen to Andy at least once. Yeah, Andy's a little bit better at this bubbler than anybody should be. This is yeah, ridiculous. Um, it is worth noting. Oh, oh no, no, he didn't get baby. the baby high enough. He, uh, uh, so it's worth noting that you can actually lift objects higher than he's doing. Uh, it's kind of finicky but he's not the thing is he's under the impression he can only raise the baby so high oh he did it he did it there we go does he have enough time uh i don't think he has enough time no he doesn't have enough time because the baby has to climb up oh geez that's so evil so yeah. close <laughs> yeah this level is rough it is a very difficult level Chris and Keith, baby got caught again. Yep. So this is why I said Chris and Keith has plenty of time to catch up to Andy, because even though Andy's ahead right now, and he's going to probably be ahead at the end of the stage since he knows what to do now. But Andy uh, there's knows plenty about of the time clocks. to catch up. Chris and Keith still yeah. does not. Uh, Freezer, the, uh, the movie is about Baby Bink, who is the baby that is wandering around right now. Yeah, baby gets kidnapped. Okay, I have to interrupt the plot for this one message from Andy. Sure. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> so we did our job, bro, Sencha. We did our job. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's baby Bink, and uh, this baby is like the inheritor of one of the richest families in the Chicago area. And so a bunch of criminals catch wind of this and they want to catch the baby, um, capture the baby so they can put it up for ransom. ransom and so they do the this baby. by posing as the baby photographers because the parents are so vain that they want the baby to be featured in the newspaper through some professional photographer. And it looks like Andy's going to make it this time. It's going to be so. really close, though. Come on, baby. He's gonna make it. There we go. With six seconds to spare. And now he's on the next area, which means he gets to pound the thugs. And you might be wondering, what's this score for? And it's for absolutely nothing except <laughs> just to relieve some stress, I guess. <laughs> What's with their necks? How else are they going to pop out of the holes? Exactly. They need long necks to pop out of the hole. Yeah, so everybody, if you ever have 
If you ever make video games- Oh, it says fine after it. <laughs> fine. Like, fine. So now he's Good on the job. rooftops. And what actually happens is that once they get to the criminal's apartment, once they, uh, you know, heist the baby and everything, they want to set a ransom, but the baby ends up escaping because one of the robbers um, tries to get the baby to go to sleep because it's crying and raise the baby a story. But instead what happens is that the robber goes to sleep because he's feeling tired and he's incompetent and stupid and whatever. And then the baby escapes and then they spend the rest of the movie trying to catch the baby. But instead what happens is that uh, they get caught and what and the baby uh, the path the baby travels ends up being one of a children's book called baby's day out I feel like I actually watched this movie back when I was young <laughs> Baby is okay. Oh All right, Andy, So what Andy is learning is that the cloud rejects any rejects your form when you are not possessing anything uh, what Andy will eventually learn is that you can control those water droplets You can also make them shoot up and down as you're going about. Wait, what? Yes. You have controllable projectiles and they are used in some puzzles. That's cool. <laughs> a little and Andy's odd. just kind of getting a feel for the level. Chris and Keith is still struggling with this level. They don't realize that they can't they, they need to not shoot the the Yeah, they need to shoot not the stopwatches shoot. or the clocks. And I think the moment they realize that. No, no! Nope, Chris. still shooting the clocks. I wonder if they're watching the clock up at the top left to see if it actually does anything. Um, the game has the zoo, but you don't specifically <laughs> see a gorilla, no. And he just fell to his death. Yep. Sounds about right. And by the way, if you think a, a solution to a stage or something is very precise in this game and it feels unintended, it's likely the intended solution because the developers really made you work hard for some of these solutions. Oh, yeah. Um, there was actually one stage that when we were playing RPG Limit Break, uh, we only beat it because you looked up a guide and then it turned and then you used a, an exploit where like with the camera that makes like uh, some scrape some objects despawn and there is an intended solution and you can actually uh, beat it that way and I managed to beat it that way when I replay the game but it's actually coming up fairly soon for Andy it's like two or three stages after this one and he's making such good progress he'll definitely make it there <laughs> Oh, it looks like everybody has immeasurable disappointment, Mike. That, that's what I'm seeing right now. It's just <laughs> how it goes. <laughs> I'm so happy that we've inflicted this game. Yeah. I <laughs> the, Tresden, the, the forms you possess somehow get even more hideous as you go farther in the game. You're going to see dolls in a couple of levels, and you're going to go, wonder Chris, why they were designed as out. such. Gotcha. <gasps> Did you hear that? We got a gotcha. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know why the gotcha is gotcha. so seductive, <laughs> but it, it is. <laughs> it, it's wrong in so many levels, gotcha. but it's there. <laughs> It's like they did everything wrong, but they still made a good faith effort to make a working puzzle game. And that's why the game is kind of addicted so and addictive in a really strange way. It's so fascinating. Like, I, I don't really understand the game, but it's it's enjoyable and yeah, weird. And the thing is, they put obvious effort into it. Like, this is not some low effort, like movie crapola thing like if they did that then they just would have made some random platform or something like that and wouldn't have thrown in 30 stages yeah it's it's so surreal just right. how so this it's game worth is. noting that the blue balls if you are not in an object you can pass through them if you are possessing an object you will be stopped by them yeah so this is introducing essentially gates uh that yes are based on whether or not you have something possessed. 
And uh, there are actually puzzles later in the game where you want to drop objects through the balls as you're unpossessed so that you can actually get them through an area. Okay, I think with Chris and Keith is actually going to beat the stage this time. Baby's coming up. Uh, yeah. So, Chris and Keith has uh, nice. mostly caught up with Andy. I mean, Andy's made progress through this stage, but he's still, like, trying to figure it out. Andy is using the look ability. Remember, you only have 30 seconds to look around. Yeah. Um, in larger stages, you actually get 45 seconds or a minute. Oh, really? But uh, in this stage, you only get 30 seconds. Okay. Pound the thugs. Come on. Pound those thugs. Andy uh, needs to go get some more of the keys. And now Chris and Keith is fine, fine. <laughs> according to the game. Oh, about the two seconds. That's because when you hit the B button again to return the eyes, um, that doesn't cost you um, the timer because yes. you're just uh, returning the eyes to, to your angel. <laughs> My angel eyes have returned to me, Mike. Ugh. Andy yeah. just trying to figure out how do I get past certain areas. So they're both on the same stage at this point. Yeah, um, Andy is ahead because he's actually played through the stage a bit and like knows a bit more than Chris and Keith is. Yes. The thing is, you can look around in the stages, but honestly, the timer is strict enough and stuff like that that usually you just kind of want to stumble your way around and see what you did wrong and then just retry from there. Yeah. I mean, that might not be a good race strategy, but that's what I did when I was casually playing through. Okay. You know, K Kiraz, that's what we were wondering. We were wondering what the target audience was for this game. <laughs> because back in the 90s, you know, stuff like Mortal Kombat and really violent stuff was cool. Um, no, Andy! You know, stuff with attitude. And, you know, like, there were still mascot platformers and everything, but, like... What would the teen, young adult demographic get out of, like, a game about a baby being kidnapped? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know. And the thing is, yeah. even though John Hughes was a big deal producer in the 80s, like, in the 90s, he kind of fell off, so... <laughs> it, it's so weird. Yeah, it is high-tech expressions. But the weird thing is that this isn't, like, low-effort crap. This is, like, high-effort crap. Like, they really put a lot of work into this. There is a lot of work here. Yeah, it's... Like... And uh, John I've never Hughes seen a puzzler movies like this. Like, uh, uh, Sixteen Candles, The Breakfast Club, uh, Pretty in Pink... Um, he made a lot of those, like, really popular 80s teen comedy dramas. And, you know, the movies with Molly Ringwald in them. Uh, okay. not, he made a couple movies in the 90s, but, yeah, they're not so good. I know he worked with John Candy a bunch, too. Oh, yeah, Ferris Bueller's another one. Oh, no. Bill Bogenreif. Who is the, I, I suppose, the producer for this. I'm having to uh, do some research. He also programmed Rollerblade Racer, Mike. <laughs> that makes a little too much sense, because they both have really dumb inertia momentum-based physics. Yeah. And bad controls. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, so That beautiful. would make sense, Mob, that this is a game that they skinned up uh, after they got a license. I mean, yeah, that, that would make sense. Maybe they had a puzzle game sitting around and then suddenly, hey, guess what? You've got the license to Baby's Day Out and they're like, well, we don't have anything better to do with this, so let's go ahead. Oh boy, just looking at some of the, the people who worked on this, Jason Schreiber. Yeah, Jason Schreiber, art man, who's, who's behind the art, by the way. The guy who is behind the art is actually named Art. 
Oh man, is it Art Vandele? No, Art Man. <laughs> yep, Art Man. The person who made the man who made the art is Art Man. Yeah. So, so what has Jason Schreiber been behind? Uh, Jason Schreiber, like I'm just taking a look, and you know he worked on things like Pets, Cats 2, or I guess the Wheel of Time video game. A Tom and Jerry frantic antics game, which I've never heard about. But yeah, uh, it, none of none of the stuff here actually looks notable, unfortunately. Tiger Shark. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't Tiger Shark that one game? I'm, no, that's a PlayStation game. Okay. Uh, Tiger Shark. Uh, isn't that a shmup? I think it is. But but that's not but that's a Toa Plan thing. That's a Japanese base. So we must have done a program to port for it. Very possibly, yeah. So Art I Man. Mean, High Tech Expressions did a bunch of ports, including the Mega Man DOS games, <laughs> uh, which technically aren't ports, but you know. Okay, Andy's finally figuring out this stage. He almost died there. Um, the question is, will the baby come in time? The baby does take a while. Baby. Uh, and the baby is Yeah. Out. However, even though Chris and Keith is behind, I think Chris and Keith is actually making pretty good progress through this stage. I think so. So this stage is the introduction of bombs. And the way bombs work is incredibly dumb. If you are... When you possess a bomb, and if you crash into an object, you will die. So what you have to do is that you have to get some momentum with the bomb, then let go of it so that it uh, makes whatever you need to explode. And he needs to blow up those gray tiles for keys. And so good. And you might have seen a, a creepy little doll there. Those are the creepy little dolls that you use to switch places <gasps> in this game. Oh, I'm They're so the excited for the creepy dolls. Doll. And Andy is actually not using the bombs correctly, technically. Uh, you want to use them to blow up the tiles. Well, he'll figure that out. Yeah, eventually. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What am I looking I do have to say, they're both making uh, good progress through this game, and, there's, and it's a little less than half an hour in. Yeah, we've got two hours of this beauty, okay, of baby's so, day out. So, that was kind of Andy's fault, how he fell out, but it's also the games, because the, the physics and momentum in this game are so strong, especially when going down a hill. He would have had to let go of the shoes, and he would have lost the stage anyway. So, the programmer for Shantae actually did the programming for this. Really? Uh, Jimmy Huey, yeah. Wow, he did design beginnings. and programming for this. You gotta start somewhere. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he worked on The Amazing Spider-Man and Captain America and Doctor Doom's Revenge. It's not Doom 2, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it is hard to, to top this game notebooked in terms of programming and art. There are a lot of physics in this game. There are certainly some physics. Oh, he also worked on world games, so he, he's had a diverse portfolio, is what I'd say. Oh, uh, and is stuck in a bit of a bad spot yet. The creepy doll! Ah! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works! I hate Don't the doll! Don't ask me why, it's just how it works. They do who? There's so many puzzled elements in this game, and you're wondering, how many things are there to, to possess? Like, does it ever end? And let me tell you, it only ends when you get to the final area. And that's yeah. when the number of new objects <laughs> stops. So you're going to see new things in later stages if they get to them. Yeah, there are new things all the time. I, I appreciate the hoots in chat. I appreciate them too. Okay, so Andy, the problem is he's not learning to bomb the bricks. There he goes. Uh, now now he has, but now he needs to bomb the bricks that are up there. And he used the arrows, which you can't really get through. 
easily anyway. Yeah, so now you get to play Breakout or Pong. We, we have a Breakout Oh, he screwed up. He can't here. beat the stage now. That thing only has three balls, and if they all disappear, then you're just screwed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> because this is a good video game. But like I said, like I told them, you know, you have unlimited continues and restarts, so it's whatever. He does have additional bombs here, though, so... Well, never mind. <laughs> I know, Rhythm Song. This level alone has three new mechanics. It's so ridiculous. Sometimes, you know, you think a game isn't good because the mechanics are too basic or there, there's not enough of them. But this game, if anything, has way too many mechanics. Yeah, that's not the case for this game at all. There are so many mechanics. I'm really shocked that Andy hasn't tried bombing those tiles yet. It's funny because he's definitely made faster progress than I have when I played through this game casually. But, like... He's bombing the birds, which makes sense because they're enemies, but he hasn't made the effort to bomb the tiles in the top right area of the screen. Yeah, we were talking about how many different genres are in this game. We've got breakout, we've got shooting, we've got weird momentum-based stuff, you know, Oh, by the way, puzzles. do you want a spoiler for something you possess? Sure. You eventually possess a rocket ship, and it plays like a ghetto subterranea. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> So you even get to play Bad Subterranean. <laughs> and what's worst about the ship is that you can move or shoot, but you can't do both at the same time. You can't do both? Oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, Andy is still figuring things out here. I think he'll get it. He's got to use the creepy doll warp now. Or use the bomb. That. Nope. Those do not explode on those bricks. Yeah, only the gray bricks explode. <laughs> Given a puzzle game for two hours, Mike, I think, I think it's a little bit cruel. <laughs> what? It's endurance round. And it's... <laughs> And it's near the end. It's top eight. I don't oh, have yeah. to be nice. We discussed this for months, okay? And like yeah. every day, okay? This is this is me waking up at 9 a.m. Gotcha. Mike would send me a message saying, I'm thinking about baby's day out. And I'm like, so am I. 9 a.m. on the dot. So Chris and Keith uh, was about to run out of time, so... But I think they're getting a decent hang of the level. And the thing is, even though it seems like they're significantly behind in this level, like, it took Andy a while to figure out these bombs. They're, he's finally getting it, though. Ooh, there's a key. Is there only one key in there? Ah, uh, there are two. Uh-huh. Well. The problem is he hasn't bombed the right blocks. He needs to actually bomb the center. Or if he's doing it vertically. Okay. No! And he didn't bomb enough blocks <laughs> because, this is a, because this is a fair and forgiving video game. I mean, at least you can see it so that you know. This is definitely a video game, Mike. People developed it. Uh oh Andy's not using the right strat. The easiest strat is just to do it from the top and the center. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. But I think he's going to figure it out. He's just figuring out different bombing strats. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, he'll figure it out. It's Andy. Yeah. <laughs> this is true, Pyro Classic Waddle, Waddle D. Yeah, I was also uh, giving Bro Center reports of my progress, and when I learned how long this game was, I was like, this has to be endurance round. Because it's way too long to be in just like a normal match. It's so ridiculous. It's. Yes. Ludicrous. And like, if you think these stages are long, they get twice as long later on. <laughs> like, it gets incredibly convoluted and ridiculous. And the thing is, if you screw up like one moment of those stages, or if you die at the very end, then you have to restart the entire stage over again. Because there's no checkpoints in this game. I mean, to be why fair, it'd be kind of hard to checkpoint like... a puzzle game. Okay. okay, well, Andy had enough bombs for both the tiles and the birds. Good. That'll make it a little bit easier to get through certain areas here. He's grabbing the shoes. Smart choice. 
Always Generally, good. if you have shoes in a stage, you want to take them with you. That's kind of a good rule of thumb because the sh shoes or anything with shoes are the only way you can climb ladders. Yeah, and they're pretty classy shoes as well, you know? <laughs> yeah, Simple Sarah. The later stages just get ridiculous. Like, there's one stage where you start off with a minute, and it was one of those two stages I could not figure out on my own, where you actually have to use the bouncing of the gun from a certain height with the bubbles to hit an object. <laughs> it's like that's like level 15 16 ish and uh andy is on level seven i want to say yeah Andy. It's a, it's a little hard to determine which exact number of level they're on because the number of stages within each area is not consistent baby out all andy has to do is get to the end just use the yeah, creepy but doll how does he do that the creepy doll uh, he's not- yeah, he needs to get to the creepy doll. I don't know why he's being so tricky with this. All he has to do is just, uh... He wants to use the ladder. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, you have to go all the way down here for baby, right? Okay, so he actually did need to do that. Yeah. Why is that so creepy between levels? It, like, shrieks at you. <laughs> yeah, and Babies, yeah. and it always has the sequence with the robbers chasing after the baby. <laughs> In case if you forgot, and you probably want to forget. Okay, so this is the stage where you can get stuck for a very long time. And this stage, you have to do some really tricky stuff with the physics. And you also have to make sure you do stuff in the right order or else you could trap yourself b beyond where those arrows are. I think you and I were trying to figure this out for a good half an hour or something. Yes. <laughs> this stage is so mean. It's and it's worth noting that cloud. So the way we got rid of the cloud was that Procentia looked at a walkthrough and then you can actually use the look command to look down far enough so the cloud despawns and then you don't have to deal with it anymore as long as you don't go up again. But the way you're actually supposed to deal with it is that you're supposed to place a block there, but if you, do but if you don't unpossess the block, you'll die. <laughs> because how do you, that's how do you what do blocks then, do. Mike? Do you just have to unpossess at a very precise moment? Uh, not really a very precise moment. You just have to unpossess it early enough. But okay. you also have to unpossess it w with enough, uh, high up enough so that you can, so that the, uh, Guardian Angel can pass through, which actually has a smaller, uh, hitbox or hurt box jumping. than you'd expect. The jumping with the dolls is so good. It is. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Andy is trying some fancy stuff there. That is not how you get through there. But that was a valiant effort. Yeah, more or less, you just want to get a doll over there so that you can get back out of here. So, Simple Sarah, remember when you were saying, like, how many mechanics this game has, and there's probably too many, and blah, 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 etc., etc., etc.? Well, here's a stage where they really crammed in all the mechanics that you can handle. Oh, yeah. More. <laughs> and I think this even has a couple new mechanics. Yes, because you get to control your little cousin to pass through a tight squeeze. You squeak. possess your baby cousin. You possess another guardian angel, okay? I want you all to know that this is actually what's happening. What? <laughs> yeah, if you try to, like, touch any object with a block, you it pretty much just blows up. <laughs> Ghost possessing I ghosts. I know. This game is so... I don't know if this game is so deep, but at least it's super complex. It's so weird. Oh no, Andy threw the shoes. And maybe he wanted to. I don't know. Whee! Okay, so he's looking around to see what kind of keys are available. There's, yeah, he's going to have to get the triangle key in order to get the circle key in order to get the square key, and after that, he's mostly done. So what you need to do 
is that you need to... No! Andy! He somehow got past that cloud, though. Uh, I missed that, but that's actually really... Well, the thing is, getting past the cloud is not an issue. Going back or t back to the left is the issue. Yeah. Woo. That's the issue. Um, Andy is in the lead, KML. He's, w he's two stages ahead. Yes. Okay. And now Andy is using the blocks to build a little bit of a bridge. Yep, this is what you're supposed to do. Okay, so Andy has definitely figured out a little bit. This game is so complex. It is. Well, <laughs> the punch so what you're supposed to do after you take care of the first puncher, which Andy managed to definitely dodge, is that you're supposed to uh, unpossess, unpossess it, go under the second puncher, get past the electricity, uh, and make sure you don't get hit by it. Possess the gun, then shoot the second puncher, and then make sure to chuck the gun past the arrows. Oh, and by the way, if he doesn't have the switching doll in that area, then he's just stuck there. Yep. It'll take like, a little while. Yeah, it'll take a little while. Like, it wouldn't shock me if he took a half hour on this stage. Yeah, th this is why we wanted an endurance match, because stages like this. Ooh, with Chris and Keith has managed to make some progress, by the way. They know where the keys are. This is a lot faster than Andy did this section. They're wasting bombs, though, like none other. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Restart level, probably a good idea. The gotcha guys just show up if you restart. Oh man, Andy managed to go under the cloud and then couldn't get back. Oh. oh no. That's the thing. You can always go under the cloud, but you can't get back. Yeah. And the way you have to do it is that you have to place a block under the cloud under the cloud but high enough so the so the angel can get through and then and then you can get back through the other way you can do it is use the look command to look down and then despawn the cloud what level is this like eight eight i want to say and there are uh, 30? I, can actually, I can actually look it up and there are 30 levels that is correct he is in the second area out of six. Oh my gosh. So game list statistics for Baby's Day Out and uh, game FAQs. Wish list, one user. This was wish listed by one user. Oh no. And, and shockingly, the reviews are two and a half stars and three stars. <laughs> and one of them says, this game should meet your gaming standards. That's it? it? It's going to meet your standards. Uh, there's more to the review than that, but I'm not reading it. Okay, so uh, Andy is in 2-3. He is in stage 8. Okay, this is stage 8. Yeah, 8 out of 30. Andy being smart. Well, almost. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. He had the right this game ideas. Does what not I'm have saying. an FAQ, and the only long play of it that I found uh, was made only six months ago. And I'm pretty sure the guy used save states or something in the long play because there's no restarts in the stages, which I find really hard to believe in a single playthrough. Oh boy! And Let's and the long play, even with the no restarts, is something like an hour forty minutes. Yes. Okay, Andy. He doesn't want to go through the arrows yet. Okay. Yeah, yes. he's starting to put together the pieces of this puzzle. Yes, okay. Smart idea. No, no, don't unpossess it. <gasps> oh, oh, oh no, Andy. Okay. Now switch. Switch, switch. your heads. I, I, 
I don't know why he's trying to be so tricky. All you have to do is yes, do that. Yeah, that's the way. Okay, there. Uh, no, don't move the doll. What are you doing? You don't have to move the doll. Oh, oh okay. He just wants to be closer to the left. That that's makes sense. fine. It's understandable. <laughs> Andy trying to be tricky here. Oh! His trickiness worked. He doesn't need to take this doll. He can just abandon doll. For now. Yeah. And in fact... Oh, oh wow. He is really playing with fire here. <laughs> or really playing with boxing glove, I should say. Yeah, if he just stays down here, he's fine. Oh! No! <laughs> the momentum! <laughs> the momentum always gets you. Yeah, if... If they can figure out the momentum strats here, that would definitely help. It looks like Chris and Keith is on the same level. We have Chris and Keith starting to catch up a little bit. But again, this level is brutal. There are very few puzzle games that I find as interesting as this, though, because it's so bizarre. Yeah, like... There's obviously a lot of effort put in. It does make sense that this, that there, that there's a big possibility that this is a, a skin job. Like as in, uh, what Mob Cow suggested that this didn't have a license. Then when they got the license, they just applied all the graphics to that. I don't know what Andy's trying because he actually had the right idea. Uh, he he's probably trying to go top route in a little bit more. oh that the thing is that's not how it works you don't gotcha. he didn't have to restart either but i think he just thought he wasted too much time gotcha oh it looks like uh chris and keith is on the same stage as andy yes he made really quick progress through the stage he was stuck on, so they're both in the same spot, and this is Chris and Keith's time to catch up, because this stage has really been stumping Andy. Oh, yeah, but honestly, I think it'll stump both of them for a while. Ah, uh, yeah. It, I mean, that's the thing. I, I don't think Chris and Keith is going to solve this one right away, either. If, uh... I might give them a hint if they get really, really stuck, but as long as they're making progress, I'm not going to give them hints. Yeah. And the only hint I was give them is what to do on the top uh, with the box, because that is really mean of the game to do that. Because because if you die that way, you might think that it's not possible. Okay, what Andy needs to do is go left. Oh, wow, he really played it risky there. Yeah. He actually really doesn't want to unpossess the gun. The gun is fast and strong, and he wants it for the bottom. How do you get the gun? Oh, yeah, you slide it out. Yeah, yeah. you slide it, and then you unpossess it. He'll, he'll probably figure that out, though. Well, technically he doesn't need it, because he can just uh, use this, and yeah. Yeah, and it works just fine down here. Yeah. There we go. Unfortunately... He does not have the circle key. Okay, he, he's possessing a block. That's good. Uh-oh. I think he's going to try oh. to get a doll up there. Yeah, the, I think so. Or is he going to take his little is... cousin? Nope. He's oh, he's going to try to get the shoes up there. Okay. So the problem with that is that there's two blue balls right ahead. Justin, oh, don't he... laugh. Cloud. Cloud. Yeah, I know blue balls. Ha ha ha. What's that? And they're just gonna bounce them right off. And what you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to get past that gate, then use the blocks to block off the cloud. Okay, he has the right idea. He needs to unpo- uh, oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, he spawned the cloud. Okay, okay. He needs to get the cloud off. Okay, he's fine now. <sighs> yeah. He, he's... I, I love this thought process that he's going through, though. This yeah, is... like, he's, he, he must be thinking, like, oh, I have to get the shoes through there, and not, I must block the cloud. 
Which honestly, we were stuck in that for a while ourselves, so. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. This game looks like but, your jam. Well, good, Geekman. <laughs> I, I, I can tell you that every stage can be completed legitimately. It's just some of the solutions are totally ridiculous. And if you think this solution is ridiculous, they get more ridiculous as the game goes on. Uh, there is one worry for Andy, and I'm not sure if he can do this stage in time now because he is running out of time. But figuring something out, I think, would be even more important. Yes. Is he going to take his little cousin up? Yeah, little cousin time. Not going to work. Except little cousin counts as possessing something. Wait, could you... You can throw the gun, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I've tried that. Um, I think they still bounce off. Oh, yeah, they, they still bounce off the... Yep. <laughs> yep. It was a valiant effort. So he's going to try the block, except he needs to despawn the cloud. Oh, he's trying the block for... The... Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, he saw that the balls despawned. Mike! He found a way through! Ah, he despawned the balls! That was clever! Very nice, Andy. What He's... did he do? Did he just look upward or look downward? He looked up. Yeah, okay. Oh, He's got a despawn strat. That is not the intended strat, yeah. but if it yeah. works, it works. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I mean, we used an unintended strat the first time we did it, and then I tried to figure out the intended strat, and I managed to do it. Uh, but yeah, just you have to the intended strat is to block that cloud with one of the blocks um, But using the despawn strat works So you might think that's really useful in a lot of stages, but it's actually really particular where it even works Like yeah. uh, I'm sure you can use it in other stages I haven't really tried much but the couple of times I've tried it here and there it doesn't really seem to work all that effectively Andy sent a message saying that he's even more confused and upset than he's ever been so good job, Mike. You've upset Andy. <laughs> hey, if he's going to win this match, I might as well make him as painful for him as possible. <laughs> it's so strange. Like, because I would say that this game is kind of still fun to play, but it's just so bizarre. It is, in the it is kind that of it... still fun to play, but it's totally garbage. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is one of the worst stages for a while, but if he makes it to the fourth area, the fourth area has a ton of long stages. Ooh. Well, this is only the second area, so... Yeah. <laughs> there is one more stage after this in the second area. I don't remember it being too bad. It's okay, definitely Chris not as bad as this one. Trying to deal... Ooh, Andy not managing to get the despawn. Let's see if that does it. Nope. Why aren't they despawning? I don't know. I barely know how the despawn works, bro. Oh, oh, you barely get them off the screen. Maybe that can be used consistently. They might be able to. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's the only use for the shoes, so I'd probably abandon them for now, which is yeah. what Andy's doing. I don't think you need the shoes for anything else. Okay, so essentially, for those who don't know, this is a puzzle game, and we're trying to get the baby to the exit. I don't think we've even seen the baby in this level, but that's what we're trying to do. There's a baby. Uh, simple, Sarah. I don't know why to quote-unquote add challenge, but it really adds frustration in more moments. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this part is too good, Mike. Oh, yeah. You actually only need two blocks to make sure the baby doesn't fall down, but Andy doesn't know that. So he's probably going to be, like, extra safe. Oh, yeah. I would be extra safe here as well. Like, good idea. Don't let your baby die. You, you need one block where he just placed it and then another block uh, up into the left of it just to make sure the baby doesn't fall down. Yes. And is blocked off from falling down. 
Also, uh, Chris and Keith actually hasn't said anything. Um, oh, on. no. They haven't said anything. So maybe he's just harnessing a, a, a violent volcano of rage right now. And about the timer, there are a couple of stages that, like, purposefully use a really low timer. Uh, Chris and Keith going over top. Not gonna work. Like that one stage you saw on the fifth stage. Or in the, or in the uh, first area, the fifth stage. Okay, if he does break out successfully, he's fine. He's fine. And Andy is through this stage. Holy cow. That, that is really good progress. And now the password for the stage is Momi. And uh, yeah, this is this is the final stage in the area. Nice. Okay. I can't wait to get back to like actually good music. <laughs> uh, if you want good music, the next stage is definitely not going to have it. Oh no. Andy, your baby's gonna fall to its death. Baby is okay. Baby's not okay in just a second, I think. No, maybe baby's fine. I think baby's fine. Andy is good at using a good strat, though, which is uh, shoot the gun constantly. It is worth noting that if you're playing an actual console, uh, shooting that many bubbles will slow it down a lot. Oh, yeah. Chris and Keith starting to get certain locations figured out. Uh, and they started this level a little bit after Andy, so uh, they do have a... You know, they they still haven't lost time, is what I'd say on this stage. Yeah, the thing is, this stage can wall you for a very long time, though. Oh, yeah. Okay, Chris and Keith... ...going for the gun. Okay. And there we go. They they managed to get the key and the gun. Throwing the gun out. That's the strat that we never saw Andy do. Yeah. No! Oh, and the gun, I think, fell in a pit. Uh, yeah. The, oh, wow. That oh, wow. is really fortunate. It did not fall in a pit. Uh, yeah, so... I mean, I'm kind of surprised Chris and Keith hasn't made the block bridge yet. All right, Chris and Keith kind of has the right idea, but what? what? I didn't know you could get the blocks through the balls. Wait, really? Yeah. Ooh, this is not good. He spawned the cloud. Uh, because that... Sorry, I'm just thinking. Maybe I knew that. I don't know. I don't know, Mike. I don't know anything. This all game's right, weird. Well, yeah, the baby is out, but Andy now needs to destroy all those birds. Yeah, if you don't kill the birds, you're gonna die, Andy. Oh, Ooh, over. I don't think he should have restarted the level, because he didn't screw himself in any way that I could see. He just needed to make sure that he had some method of taking out the birds. Actually, Mike, I, I think that it probably deals with the way that you move in the game, because uh, with with the blocks, you don't move like anything else. You move more like a cursor than necessarily uh, something that, that, is, that is has true. momentum. That is true. That's my guess, anyways. I, I have no clue. I do not recall being able to get blocks past there. But at the same time, there are already blocks past those balls, you know? Yeah. And he can't place them where the balls are. Oh, that's probably why yeah. 
they didn't seem useful. Oh no! Chris and Keith. Yeah, anything that speeds or slows you down affects those a little bit differently. Either So Pyroclastic Waddle D, um the last high tech expressions games I see are from nineteen ninety four, and this movie is also nineteen ninety four, so it's actually possible that either high tech expressions went out of business or they were bought out and they just never published this game. Yeah, there's Because honestly, I mean, there it's... are technically worse games out there. Just uh <laughs> Um I think the reason why this game wasn't released has more to do with business, you know, high-tech expressions than uh, this game just not fitting any demographics at all. Yeah, I, I don't know. Or maybe it was the case that, hey, they finished making this and then they realized <sighs> the movie's crap and maybe it's already even past I, 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 when we I, I, ha made I have a theory, cells. a wild theory. So, since this is a game they were going to try to make, uh, you know, with the license and everything. Um, do you think that this is the game? Getting the license to this game was so expensive that it put high tech expressions. Oh my on gosh! <laughs> I hope not. It, it, it's just wild speculation, but it, 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 it's not entirely out of the question. I love it, Mike. That's a. It's a fun idea. Oh, no, Andy. I could see this game being a movie that someone would like if they were 10 or younger. As a kid. Uh, I, yeah, but even like even at that age, I don't think I would have liked because you'd be like, ha ha, the gorilla is Assaulting and mangling this robber, ha ha ha! That Joe Montana oh, movie license. Oh me. no! They got the baby. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is. Yeah, I, I I feel like I did see this movie as a kid, and I thought this is kind of dumb. And when. When you're a kid and you don't like a movie, you know That's there's a problem. That's saying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I liked the Beethoven movies as a kid. Oh, so did I. Beethoven Second was even okay as a kid. Yeah, yeah, same. Uh, didn't John Hughes produce Home Alone? Speaking of that. Wait, really? I think so. Apparently he did. Yeah, okay, so yeah, he was a big deal producer even in the 90s. Or at least the early 90s. But I guess that this movie is one of the movies that killed his cred. Oh man. So sad. He was a this writer. This is true, for he did Ferris not direct Bueller? those movies. Okay. He stopped being a director, at least a regular director in the 90s. Yeah, he did a lot of writing, it looks like. And his writing has been used for... Well, his characters have been used recently. You know, he, he passed away a while ago. But, uh, yeah, yeah he, he worked on a Beethoven's movie in 2000. Oh, he wrote Flubber. He wrote the, the live-action 101 Dalmatians. Uh, so, uh, oh, I think and, Andy is missing that there's actually a little space he can sneak through right beyond that ramp on the left. The baby can't go through it, but he can if he unpossesses the shoes, if I remember correctly. That is true, what Kata says. I remember uh, Michael Kane was quoted um, because people asked him, because he's, even though he's a very well regarded actor, he's been in some really bad films. And, you know, people asked him about one of his bad films, and he's like, well, I wanted an expansion on my house. <laughs> Pretty much is what he said. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I mean, you know, people have done... Ah, that, yeah, that's the exact quote from Bordis. Have you ever seen Jaws 3? No, but I've seen the house that it built. Oh, I love it. I know uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier 
or Oliver. Uh, he's a uh, he, he was he's also a very well respected actor from like the you know 50s, 60s, 70s. I think even up to the 80s. And people asked him why he started in some bad movies, and he said, and he just straight up said for the money. I mean, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. Although Baby's Day Out doesn't really have any huge actors in it, if I remember correctly. I remember it had some actors who were kind of big-ish in the 90s, but no one, like, huge. Let me take a look. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the main actor for Eddie is Joe Mantegna. I think it's called, pronounced Montaigne. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in The Godfather Part Two or three, something like that. Uh, also, Fat Tony in The Simpsons. So he was he was fairly big, fairly big there. And that's about it. <laughs> and Andy figured out how to get the gun through. Yay, Andy! Ooh. Wow, Chris and Keith is trying to get really fancy with the. Uh, blocks and everything right here, but... Wow. I'm actually surprised that Andy has made too this fancy much for progress. Their own good. With Chris and Keith is still struggling in this, I can't blame them. Oh, man. Trying to bounce the doll through. <laughs> Mike, this is glorious. Oh, if they would have and raised... now you get some most ear bleeding music in the game. Oh no! Why? It's like demons here. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, this is this this is Satan's toy store. Look at the deranged bird in the back. That that's how I feel right now, Mike. <laughs> Okay, what new mechanics do we have in this stage? I see hands that are pointing places. Oh, and if I remember correctly, there are five stages in this area, so you gotta endure through this music through five state glorious stages. Oh, jeez. Everybody crank your audio. And then, yeah, if you do, you never have to hear... Uh, really high-pitched noises ever again, because guess yeah. what? You'll always be hearing them. <laughs> yeah, you'll but just not have tinnitus. at that point. <laughs> just... This game's dumb. Gotcha. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Andy is not complaining about this game quite yet. But I, I imagine it's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're going to have a call with the racers, right? Oh, for sure. If, if okay. they'll let us. <laughs> anyway, I need to make a small break. I'll be back in about five minutes or so. All right, make the break. I'll go ahead and keep having fun with this. <laughs> and listening to the glorious music. My soul hurts because of this music. There we go. Andy has the triangle. It's always good to get. Triangles are a pretty awesome shape, if I may say so myself. Pipe Andy's audio over to the other side. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm good. We're gonna... So, with Chris and Keith is still trying to figure this stage out. Now... I know that a hint was possibly going to be given earlier with Chris and Keith can use a glitch to get rid of this cloud here, but I don't know. Okay, they're, they're using look. They're looking around. And unfortunately, they got stuck. Uh, so... Lower the audio level in general. Nah, just deal with it, okay? I should crank it. I should pump it up. Everybody gets to... Wow. Ow. Ow. Ooh. Ah. 
And they expect you to deal with this for five stages. Oh, it's helicopter time. Get ready. We've got a helicopter game now. Well, one hit, one hit kill helicopter game. That's okay. You know. Wow, okay, with Chris and Keith. Just trying to figure out what they Hot need job. to do. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and type something. Uh, Okay, I'm just sending a message to help things out and to see uh, to see what they think. Okay, Chris and Keith still trying to figure out how to get through this section. Okay, getting a triangle. Andy uh, trying to figure out this part. Oh, baby. Oh, it just got louder. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh. okay. A good song. I, I think Chris and Keith has the right idea here for this stage. Keith does seem to have the right idea. They did get the key, but they didn't manage to uh, get out of there. So at this point, Andy is definitely in the lead. Chris and Keith trailing a little bit. It's this stage. This stage is extremely difficult. Oh, my soul hurts. This music, I, I don't know. This music just hurts souls and hurts everything. Yeah, this game was not released. This is a game that was made for the Sega Genesis, but... Ow! Ow, 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 ow! But for some reason, it never came out. Maybe that shouldn't even be, like, a puzzle there, you know? This is hurting your brain. This is hurting my soul. Okay, at least Chris and Keith's baby is okay. Andy has blocks that spell out ack. Ah. Ta. Ah, yeah. Eight. Okay, that, that's a good word. Ooh, I'm hungry. Ack. Okay. Andy's trying to fire the missiles. I love that part of this game for Baby's Day Out is just blow things up. Yeah, the guardian angel is extremely violent. It's not one of those peaceful angels, you know? It's one of those jerk angels that's running around just like, hey, I'm gonna punch you in the face. I'm an angel. Nobody's gonna stop me. I can punch whoever I want. Yeah, holy punches. Bam. The best defense is a good offense. Yeah. Please turn the music up. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I've been... No. 
I can't. Lord Hayati, I'm I'm not going to do that to the viewers here, okay? We're we're destroying ears, but only like we don't want your ears destroyed right away, okay? We want you to have the suffering prolonged. Andy is out of time. So what did I miss? What did you miss? Andy ran out of time. Chris and Keith almost figured out the block issue. So Mike, what I was thinking was we could offer both of them one freebie when it comes to hints. Oh wait, actually, I think Chris and Ooh, Keith. Ooh, the problem has is it. I don't remember all of the solutions for the stages. I think Chris and Keith has it. He got the intended solution. We're good. I don't have to offer anything, then. <laughs> oh, nice. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, so Chris and Keith is definitely behind, but he's actually only one stage behind. Andy struggled a lot with this Momi stage. I, uh, the I reason don't... I call it Momi stage, because that's what the password is. And if Chris and Keith figures out how to get the gun around and doesn't restart as much as Andy does, then he'll be in good shape. Yeah, Andy is almost caught up here. Or no, it's with, funny because Andy and Keith, but... has been really destroying this game, but like there are a couple of stages that have really stumped him. And Chris and Keith has been stumped in these stages too, but he has been significantly less stumped. Yeah, I'm And yes, I'm Boogalo, what's the bees him. have crazy aggro. Like if they see you, they will hound you to the end of the world. <laughs> I love it, Mike. Ah, Chris and Keith got the intended solution, too, with the block blocking the cloud. Yeah. That's great. I know that they were trying that for a little while and finally got it to work. Yeah. I am mildly considering playing this on stream, maybe yours, uh, just to, like, have a quote-unquote revenge like you do for the Big Bad game -a -thon or whatever. Oh, boy. Uh, just to... I, I don't know how long it'd take me. Like, I've beaten this game, but, like, I don't remember all the solutions and stuff, so, like... It would probably take me at least three or four hours. Yeah, I, I imagine it would. <laughs> Andy just waiting for the baby. What a what a dumb baby, just taking years to get where it needs to go. Yeah. Stupid baby. What I'm kind of surprised about is that even though this game is unreleased, it's not really on like a lot of bad game lists or like you know yeah, like legendary bad games because. I've only seen one YouTube channel that's really covered it as a really bad game, and they barely got into the game. Like, they got maybe, like, four or five levels into the game. It's, uh... But it's, like, such a fascinating mess of a game. It, it's so strange. Like, it, it combines, like, some of the worst excesses of the 90s, like, the pre-rendered graphics, you know, movie licenses... Um, some of the worst habits of Western development, like, really strong momentum physics... Yeah. Uh, and, you know, like, just really unfairly tight design at times. Like, with how, like, well you have to play at certain points. I think Andy's figured out the stage. I think so, yeah. He he has a minute I don't think you have left. to do anything special with the blocks, and now he just has to wait for the baby. Ah, the baby's so slow. Hurry up, you dumb baby. Yeah, but there is the occasional unreleased game or ROM hack that gets, uh, you know, notoriety for being a bad game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mark and here's the bazooka bubbler, or the water balloon bazooka. Oh, boy. Which, there are no water balloons or bazookas in the movie's Baby's Day Out. They were implied, And for those of you who saw Baby's Day Out, there are no puzzles involving lighting Joe Montagna's crotch with a with a lighter. And yes, See, that is really a thing in the movie. You you say that, but simply put, that you know, it, it's more a puzzle, an implied puzzle. You know, yes. and artistically, if, if you actually knew what art was, you would have known that, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> so True. I'm sorry, but you don't know fine art here. And this is another Western thing that there's not really a good art style to this game, but they were using the newest, like, pre-rendered, digitized graphics, which actually might have been a reason why high tech uh, expressions went out of business, because if I remember correctly, those SGI machines that were used to make graphics like this were not cheap. 
really? So they just splurge. They're like, we've got the best equipment, and then nobody wanted to buy their games anymore. <laughs> and they're like, well, okay, never mind. Uh, I don't know exactly how expensive they were, but they certainly weren't cheap. Uh, well, Jables just answered it for me. 20 to 40K machines and software. I mean, if you're making millions of dollars off of the investment, then that's cool. But they didn't make millions of dollars <laughs> off of most of High tech games. expression making millions of dollars. Try to be positive here, Mike. <laughs> I'm just trying to be real here, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. That's probably better. One million dollars off of Barbie. As well as the Okay, so Simpsons Andy's games. gonna have to learn how to Yup and Interesting. Oh, he actually looked around in such a direction that he managed to kill off the pink What? Uh, cloud. <laughs> the pink, uh, he despawned the cloud? Demon. Wow. No, he didn't despawn the cloud. He's, he didn't despawn the demon. He actually hit it while he was looking around because he was looking around in the correct directions. Oh, okay, I gotcha. The baby's okay. But for Chris and Keith, the baby's out. Just gotta get to the baby. How do you get to the baby? Maybe here? Yeah. Nope. Um, to be fair about pre-rendered, I think it looks pretty good in Donkey Kong Country. I think oh, it yeah. helps that they were going for very cartoonish graphics in Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, it looks great in Donkey Kong Country. But yeah, in a lot of games it looks terrible because they didn't put any art considerations behind it. They were just like, technology. Oh, by the way, if I remember correctly, there's a gap in between one of those canes. It might be. Okay, Andy if is I'm remembering almost correctly. through this. Just doesn't have the right key. Where's the key? There it is. Well, he says the key. I think he has plenty of time to He's get it, too. He's got time. He's fine. But he may actually get stuck because I believe there are some one-way passages in certain locations here. Uh, that could be a thing. Oh, no, he, he can do it right here. Okay, never mind. We're good. Yeah, he's fine. Just gotta wait for the baby now. Uh, Chris and Keith still struggling a bit with this, uh, with, uh, the stage right before the toy store right here. To be fair, it's kind of understandable. I, I know that they were almost finished, the baby yeah. got to where the baby gets out, but... Unfortunately, uh, Chris and Keith was not able to find where the exit was. Okay, Andy, uh, doing more department store. Wow. Yeah, we have three more stages of this music, so buckle in, buckaroos. Oh no, that looks scary. I don't know what Andy's revealing, but I don't like it already. Oh, it's that guy. Never mind, he's kind of cool. Like, I, I don't even know what he is, though. Some water droplet? Well, Andy is currently suffering from the music and is really mad about physics puzzles, so... Yeah, it's about... It's about right. Yeah. Is he yelling and right this, now? It, and uh, Chad is speaking up about computerized graphics and stuff. And yeah, this is definitely a product of its time because back in the mid 90s, everything was about computer generated pre rendered graphics, no matter how terrible they were. And to be fair, the games that we remember with them, Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario RPG and Killer Instinct, use them pretty well. Um, they look pretty good. But there oh, are yeah. plenty of other examples where they just look awful. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of others. There are educational videos that use them, and they just look so hilariously bad. Really? I'm very yes. curious now. Yeah, I know Clay Fighter did that. Ah, uh, yes, the Toy Story games use them, and they use them pretty well. I mean, they were just going off Pixar design, so, you know. <laughs> gotcha. 
Gotcha. Wow, that's beautiful. Actually, yeah, I know. Batman... And that happens every single time you restart, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it, it's only a little creepy. Let's see, yeah, Batman Forever definitely had them, and they were something. I guess Ogre Battle 64 was pre-rendered? Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. This could uh -huh. also be lying to me. I don't know. <laughs> By the way. Yeah? I still really, I still really like this game, or at least like watching it, because it's just so bizarre. <laughs> it is. There's just so much going on in every it, it, stage. Like, like, like technically, the game is utterly devoid of charm and stuff, charm and the like, like that. But because of all the mishmash of aspects, it has its own perverse charm because of it. I, I'd say so. I'm. Wondering what like the new game is like utterly works. devoid of a good art style, but that's kind of what makes it fascinating. Oh, he almost died from a rat there. Andy. Wow. Uh, Chris and Keith still str uh, trying to figure out this stage. He has the baby out, but now he needs to figure out how to get the gun uh, where he need uh, to eliminate those crows. And wow, that was another close Whoa. call from Andy. That's nuts. Uh, yeah, that's true. Surreal is a good way to put it. But perverse also works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because everything Andy. about this game is pretty much perverse. Oh, jeez. You know, it's almost like the Troll 2 of puzzle games or something like that. Almost, yeah. It's very much a puzzle game. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the thing is, it combines things that, like, having sort of a realistic baby and realistic villains here combined with your, a water drop with shoes. And the shoes aren't even attached to you, your water droplet body. Andy! Oh my gosh! How is he living? He's cheating. He could have played that so Hacks. much safer, too. He Hacks. could have just hit, hung back and used the spit to just take care of it. That's all that he has to do. He doesn't have to go down there. He can just hang back and hit, hit, throw the spit downwards. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the baby's day out of video games. I, I agree it's with that. It's the baby's day out of video games. It certainly is. I mean, I guess the reason you have shoes is the water droplet is to show that you can go up and down ladders. Yeah. But why? Why does that even matter? I, I don't know. I'm very confused about the rules of the game. Yeah. Okay, good it job, certainly Andy. certainly is a video game. Using the look mechanics here. Man. I almost... I wish Genesis emulation was better so they could experience all the slowdown from firing all those projectiles. Because the game slows down so much when you fire oh, that yeah. many projectiles. I, I'm glad that we have an equal... Oh, the music. Sorry, Mike. I can't think as soon as this part... It, 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 it does really tunnel into your brain. I, I remember when Key saw this, he said, A, this game speaks to me, and B, this music is awful, and I can't stand it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the best assessment of everything about this game. Huh? And don't worry, I haven't muted the stream yet. Oh, good job. And again, I have played through all these stages, so I will say this. I think this stage has the worst music. Or this area. Yeah. So if Andy gets past this area, we're fine. Uh, that He might not be able to get past this area, though. A little concerned about... Those bees. He's going to have to make sure that he kills the bees. Yeah, and he needs the... Uh... He needs the a little water-spitting oh, demon yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah. Or, or a gun. You can't jump and climb ladders. What? Uh, unless, if you, um, let, unless if you have a block for it, you can't do that. I mean, he does have a block. That's so dumb, Mike. 
Uh, well, welcome to Baby's Day Out. Yeah. Wow. This game is being rude to Andy. I don't know why he really wants to get the feet through there. Maybe there's some... I mean, he's the one who's solving the puzzle, so there, maybe there's something he knows that I don't. There might be. Okay. With Chris and Keith... Still working on this stage. Having a hard time here. Okay. Andy is just trying to stand long enough on the block. He's moving at one... Oh, the music! Ouch! Oh, that makes sense, Kate, because you need the shoes to climb down that ladder in the first place. There we go. Okay. Nobody likes this song. <laughs> and, he's, and he flipped the gun Ooh, through. Oh, nice. Andy using physics. You know what's funny? I forgot about all the physics puzzles before the real physics puzzle of the game. No! And, oh, no. Oh! <laughs> right at the end! Right at the end! <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. Oh! Yeah, there, there's a reason why some of these levels have really long timers. And it gets worse. Like, there, the final stage has a 14-minute timer. Although you don't need that long to beat it, but... It still takes at least, like, seven or eight minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I could understand that. He definitely did know it was a trap. And he tried. Yeah. He tried. Yep, he tried so that. hard. Well, he's getting really good at controlling the projectiles with this. Yep, he is. Well, obviously, he, he, he had all those clutch shots, so obviously he's a master of it. So, worth noting that this is the game that I originally wanted to give Dragon Dark, but uh, <laughs> due to scheduling conflicts, uh, Bungara and Dragon Dark's match is probably not going to happen for a while until we can uh, get logistics figured out. Mm -hmm. And he said, you can't give me Red Zone. I'm like, well, the game I'm going to give you will make you wish it was Red Zone. And yep, here it is. Yeah, I, I feel like most people would probably rather play Red Zone than this. <laughs> Yeah, which is a very strong statement, considering uh, how everyone who I've shown Red Zone does not like the game. The thing that I dislike most about this game is that... I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to know, think, just what are all the things I hate about this? First off, we have this stupid baby stage. I know it's called Baby's Day Out. But why do you have to have so many games with stages with stupid letter blocks i don't care i'm not a child anymore don't treat me like a child to this music is annoying and then scarring it's those two uh what else i like the surrealism that's what i like the most about this <laughs> the pastiche of awful oh the the fact that like Early on, it gives you tutorials for how things work, and then it's like new mechanics, no information, and you have to use <laughs> so old mechanics. So here's the funny thing: you actually get a question mark for the final new object you can possess. Are you serious? Yes, it's somewhere in like level twenty-six or seven. <laughs> oh my gosh, the bees! The bees! It, it's like they forgot about the question marks for a while, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, we have these." <laughs> I love it. That that's awesome, Mike. <laughs> and it's it's probably the worst thing. So, do you want me to spoil it for you? Uh, sure. I suppose. The last thing you get is a UFO. Okay. And there are two things that are horrible about the UFO. It's actually a cool concept. So the first horrible thing about the UFO is that it bounces as if it was made of rubber. Okay. So like if, if and it's and it's super light. So if you throw it anywhere with momentum, you have to be really careful that you, it doesn't actually hit the wall and bounce too hard and backfire on you. The other thing that's horrible about the UFO is it actually uses a really unique mechanic. Whenever the UFO is blinking, you are invincible and can go through lasers. The problem is, is that because of the game's physics system and because you get maybe half a second. And that's being generous of invulnerability when it does this. 
it is actually really hard to time the invulnerability periods to get through. Uh, that, yeah. Sounds this just painful. seems like an aggressively mediocre puzzle game. I don't no. know about that. This game is really evil. <laughs> like, this game was intentionally designed to, like, not have checkpoints and stuff. I don't know. Mediocre puzzle game? I know I've played some. There are, a, there are a lot of those, like, Tetris clones back in the day. That's what I'd call aggressively mediocre. Yeah. But this I, game is, like, it's pretty vile. <laughs> And yeah, the game constantly introduces you mechanics, and I don't know why. I think Andy is completing this yes, stage. Yes, wow. Andy has completed this level. Andy is definitely extending his lead at this point. Chris and Keith is just struggling. Whoa. Yeah, Chris and Keith is really struggling with this level more than I thought uh, they would. Mm. They... They, they really the need, yeah, that there. key so they can unlock a path for the gun so they can shoot all those birds. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressively mediocre puzzle game coming into effect here. So what, what genre is that? <laughs> Bounce house? I don't Bounce know. Bounce house. Okay, I like that. Bounce house. Uh, but yeah, it's really hard to slow yourself down here. He has to use the blocks to do it. Yeah. He has to be really careful maneuvering here. Um, I remember Gyromite being pretty good as a kid, but yeah, it's not the greatest game, so you could call that mediocre, I guess. But. Oh my gosh! Okay, Andy's through. Okay. Andy made it. Whew. Oh, and now he has to use the ball, which oh. uh, you bounce, and it bounces more and more as you bounce it. So you have to bounce it enough, and then you have to maneuver it through these platforms. It's really bad. Oh, no. I would maybe accept this as aggressively mediocre if it doesn't have a really detailed physics system that just makes everything even more frustrating. Yeah, they, they put a lot of work into the, the exactly. physics of this like, game. I think it's insulting to say this game is aggressively mediocre, not because it's super awful, per se, but because they put a lot of effort into this game yeah. for some bizarre reason. It's ambitiously Kuso. I think that's a good assessment there. Oh, yeah. Andy! Andy, no! <laughs> This is really hard. The momentum is so strong here. It is. It really is. <laughs> oh, no! You can do this, Andy. I've got faith. <laughs> yeah, for some well, reason... Here's we the have... thing. I'm going to tell Andy what chat thought of this and say it's aggressively mediocre. I'm sure he'll have some choice words about that. <laughs> Hopefully he won't make the stream R-rated like Proton John did that one time. Proton John. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly hop about. Yeah, it's like, why did it suddenly go to this completely oh, Andy other... Oh, actually has to get the ball over to the left. I think he just unpossessed to look over. To see if there was anything worth go Oh my gosh, he made, he it. made it! Yeah, that's why, because there's a ton of clouds here. You and know, he they have a really big the smog problem. The baby is sent to take care of it. I think that's the story of the game. Yeah. Stupid angel has to help with that. Oh boy, okay. He made it through. That's good. Yeah, this game possibly was always clever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is over here? There's so oh, much more this, to this, this stage! Why are they yeah, so Oh, huge? this stage has a really evil end, too. Oh, no. So, I don't think you've seen this enemy yet, but there's an enemy that looks like a child, and it throws socks in random directions, and if one of the socks hit you, hits you, you die. 
This stage is so long! That's my main complaint about this stage. Uh, yeah, and this isn't even like the longest stages. The stages get even longer. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Fun. Fun. Okay, Andy, you're figuring out baby strats. There we go. That's good. That's gonna work. No, the creepy dolls! <laughs> I don't... Oh. Swapping their severed heads. With Chris and Keith still struggling with this stage. Oh, no. I feel so yeah. bad. It's a... It's a rough stage. I don't know. Everything it in this rough. game just challenges I don't, you. Yeah, and I don't know if he can catch up at this point. Uh, unfortunately, Chris and Keith does have the keys required this time, so I think he'll be able to complete it this time through. Okay, baby's gonna fall to baby death. Okay, no, just down there. Well, okay. Butters, BB, uh, since you're here a bit late, the, technically this movie didn't get a game because this game was never published. Uh, but this happens to be a complete beta that's just floating around the internet for this game. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, there's a bomb. There are a couple bombs. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Andy died. Not a huge surprise. There are 270 people who have been watching this, Mike. Gotcha. And that's probably more than have actually played the game. <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, it Okay, so I looked up High Tech Expression. It says they shuttered down in 1997, but I don't see any games past the Super Nintendo Genesis era and past 1994, so... Maybe they were like, we'll just go ahead and make expressions now. <laughs> yeah. With our expensive machines, boom, goes Andy. I don't remember the exact solution to the stage, but I remember it being like a kind of a trick. The high prices of those Joel Mont Montana licenses. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, gotta get Fat Tony in there. Oh, Fat Tony. Okay. Yeah, the the momentum for these balls... It just seems it's terrible. Bad. I do like the watermelon color, though it's more like the inside flesh of the watermelon rather than the outside of the watermelon. You know, I, I still... I believe this is an inverted watermelon that Andy's controlling, okay? Well, you see, Kate, that's the problem. There's a hidden bomb, and the game doesn't tell you that. There's a hidden bomb? Yeah, so, like, oh, it yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. there's only one bomb, but there's another one. Uh, with... Uh, I know Andy did find the hidden bomb. Oh no, he lost his feet. That's okay, that... He's just trying to figure out this stage. Yeah, I... He made it through most of the stage before, it's just really easy to forget what you've done. Since they're like, hey, 50 steps per stage, this is what you need to do, good luck. The later stages have 70 steps, then 90 steps, then 100 steps. Just keeps going up, Mike. There's no end. No Although end some of the matter. later stages don't even have that many steps. They're just really evil in how they're designed. Like in one stage, you have to figure out that whenever the baby goes through an electric field, it disables the electric field, and you have to pass through the electric field the exact time the baby is passing through. Wait, babies and then you are have to do this on the way back too. Okay, Andy. No! No! Andy, no! Oh! That aggressive mediocrity. Oh my gosh! Wow. 
Okay. Yeah, and for those of you going, oh, he shouldn't have done that. The physics in this game are really hard to work they're with. They're really physics. <laughs> yeah, they're really physics. Oh, with Chris and, and Keith, Chris and Keith got past the stage. Wow. The problem very is, nice. uh, he'd have to basically get through each stage first try, knowing what to do to catch up with Andy at this point. Yeah. I, I won't say it's impossible, but it would be an amazing comeback if that did happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know how you feel, man. I know. I know how you feel. Fine. <laughs> It's such a mocking statement right after you do yeah, the bonus level. Yeah, fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. Yeah, this game is very tilting. That's why I only played it in small doses. I usually only played like a couple of stages at a time, or sometimes even only one stage. It's... Because honestly, each stage requires so much like puzzle solving and the like that it just it's kind of draining to play through this whole stage this whole game in one session yeah it oh my gosh okay there's the kid throwing socks the there's sock a bunch of children them, and if those socks touch there's you so you many. are dead all and andy can oh also gosh. just slide the bombs and you'll be fine there we go he's sliding bombs he's got it he's fine he has it there you go Kill the ch <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> Shoot him with the rockets! The, the the new bid war. Save or kill the children. Well, GDQs have taken a dark turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well... I don't know if these these children aren't even doing their laundry. Okay, you can tell. Where's Andy going? Uh, he's just. Oh no, he trapped himself. What? How did he get through? I don't know. When when two clouds touch, maybe weird things happen. Andy, Andy, no, <laughs> you are full of mistakes and lies. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Andy! Yeah, Andy needed to take the shoes to get around so he can take the ladder up to get to the flag. I have to say, I am really impressed with uh, their progress, both of them. <laughs> and I know that they're far into the bracket, but hey, how did Andy get out of that? He, he's just managing to slide by the clouds. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yes, you Andy's need to get to the flag bugs. with the baby bad road. Uh, I don't think he's clipping. Oh, he might clip through the top one, but that's not where he needs to go. <laughs> and Andy is restarting. He likes to brute force stuff. I like it. I like that. That yeah, desire I like the that attempt. Andy has. It was a valiant attempt. Yeah, but that's the thing about this game. Like, you have to think like ten steps ahead, and if you fail one of the steps, then the game's just like, nope. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, that's what the game's like. I okay. Don't, turns like, into what was their reasoning behind that? Hey guys, we have a movie that's based on like really old style 1930s, 1950s slapstick. How do we make that mesh with the theme of our game when the baby is caught? Let's make it as suggestive and seductive as possible. Does that fit with what? our name, High Tech Expressions? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> It'll be the most high tech of expressions. Oh my gosh, Andy! And do, and, and do you want to say that, that that sound clip is shockingly like high quality too. It's yeah. Like, it's... it's like they spent the entire sound budget on that one clip. The gotcha clip. I, I bet that if they ever do, like, high-tech expression reunions, you know, I, I'm just imagining it. It's like a high school reunion, okay? They go, they gather at their old uh, company, which is probably now, like, a staple manufacturing building, you know? They, they get together there, and they're like, you remember when we we did that gotcha sound? I'm like, oh, yeah, those were the days. 
Yeah. Yeah, those were the days of this game that wasn't even released, and we labored hours and hours over it. <laughs> Andy, what are you doing? Oh, that was really risky. Yeah, so there's just what? kind of like a little non-solid space right there. Why? <laughs> I don't know! That's what's so evil about it! That's what... I, that's what I forgot was so evil about it. It's not that it's hidden behind a candy cane. It's just that there's that non-solid space, and I don't know why that's a thing. <laughs> it's, like, not a thing in any of the other stages. This is so dumb. My. <laughs> yes, it is. All the people go, aggressively mediocre, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never accept that. <laughs> this noticed. game is trash, and it's proving itself. Wait, that is another glitch? Apparently uh, that is... I don't know if that's a glitch, but that is how the stage works. What's the intended way to get out if that's a glitch? I'm pretty sure that's the only way you can get out. It's either that or behind the candy cane, so yeah. Aggressively brilliant. Oh no, I think Andy might have trapped himself. Because what you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to... Oh, okay, okay he hasn't. Woo. Phew. The arrows worked in his favor. Good. It's hard to keep track once. of everything, honestly. And I completed this stage like months ago because, you know, I can only play this game so much before my brain like fries from all the millions of steps this game wants me to take. Wait, so is the baby going to fall through there? Oh, my God. Uh, no, he's not because uh, he's a two or three tile wide space. Oh, good. Or <gasps> Mike! Oh, Mike! wait, no. Oh, crap. What is the solution for this stage? I forgot what the solution for this stage is. Poor baby. <laughs> oh, no. He should have at least explored what was behind the uh, gate. <laughs> I forgot what the solution to this stage is. Oh, my oh God. no. This is the best game. <laughs> Oh. oh, what is this? I, yeah, if you would have waited for It's been so long the, since I played this stage that I don't remember what the if, solution if is. If you would have waited for the baby to get out before blowing that up, then he would have been good. And here's the thing. This is not one of the stages I needed to use the, uh, let's, the, not the let's play, the long play, uh, to get through. Th th this stage I actually figured out on my own, but it took me a lot of tries to figure it out. Yeah, I can imagine. Chris I have Keith. cleared this stage. Not all in one go, but I did it in little bits and pieces. Uh, it probably took me a combined 10 to 15 hours because this stage has 30 levels for I don't know what reason. <laughs> and there are six areas. Um, and the stages just get longer and longer and more devious and more convoluted and with even more and more mechanics and things to possess like the ufo and the plant that turns into a mortar i'm not making what? it up by the way there's actually what? a plant that that you pl that you plant on the ground and it turns into a mortar you plant the plant it turns into a mortar yes wow this is very much a game okay i'm refreshing both streams for the last stretch sorry you don't get to hear the music for about half a second uh, there. The ending is really short, actually. Really? And they don't have the credits in the ending, not because they're ashamed or anything, because they have the credits in the title screen. Oh, so you okay. can know who to blame immediately for this <laughs> game. <laughs> Before you even play the game, you knew who to blame. Go away, you creepy. Ah, so drum is actually has a good uh, solution. You gotta let the baby drop first, then bomb the yeah. wall. The baby got to the X the last time, so if he does it in a different order, he can then get up to the baby. Yep, this should work just fine. Not the cleanest solution, but hey, it works. The thing is, not Why every is solution is gonna be S? the developer intended. Oh, Andy, you are playing with fire right there. If those He's socks like, hit him, he would have died. Dead. The baby's out, though. Baby is safe. I think there's one more stage to this area, so so we're not out of it yet. Yeah, so Andy has not 
you know, he managed to get through using one less key than is normally required. No, oh, we're out! We're wrong. out of the music! <laughs> I went free! We get to pound the thugs! Pound I bet Andy's so thugs. happy right now. <laughs> He's like, I don't have to listen to that to that ear drill anymore. <laughs> so bad. Cat, you're free! You're free! <laughs> <laughs> no, Rosentia, stop. Okay, I'll stop. stop. I remember the music in the next level not being too bad either. <laughs> okay. Good! They're impressed now. Oh, nice. And you see, this music's not bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. Yeah, exactly. Actually, no. Let, let me go ahead and say, I like this. I can dig <laughs> this music. Yeah, a Andy's response is, oh heck, this is going to be awful. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Baby's right. Day Out. Everything Oh is yeah, awful. and by the way, if you're like, wow, these foreground bars are really obnoxious and in the way, and so are all the trees. Does this last through this entire area? And the answer is yes, because the game has to properly display that you are stuck in a cage. And... How would it not do that without obvious foreground objects? Wow. Nice of the devs to do that. Yeah, exactly. Andy's having a bit of a hard time making that jump. There yeah. we go. The thing is, it's hard to see where the edge of that uh, branch is, but yeah. he managed. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, like I'm, I'm just really glad that we're done with that music. I am getting tired, but luckily we only have like three and a half minutes, Mike. Then we're done with this game. We and never have to have another point. day out again. Uh, yeah, the thugs want the baby so they can make a bunch of money off the ransom. But they're really incompetent and let the baby out, and it ends up traveling all over the world, all over the city, um, in all the locations uh, listed in the book, Baby's Day Out. Oh. Well, isn't that convenient? Yeah, movie your and feet, I don't think the movie is a Netflix anymore, and that's a good thing, because you really shouldn't waste your time watching this movie like I did. Yeah, it sounds like a barely... <laughs> Oh, you better make sure Pesmerga doesn't win a raffle. A, a viewer's choice raffle. Oh, no. Pesmerga, I can always just click right next to your name and disable you from the raffles. <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy because John Hughes was behind this. Like, it's not an unknown name was behind this. That is pretty nuts. I don't know if you're making that up, Wong Fo, with the Baby's Day Out manga, but if that exists, I kind of want to read it now. Like, I don't know if you're trolling us, but if there's actually a manga, I kind of want to... I'm about 99% sure that it's a troll, but I'm 100% sure that I wish they weren't joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's how I feel. Baby's day out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Andy hiding the blocks, I guess. Oh no, never mind. He's gonna be. Oh, really? Mike, is this into oh, oh, okay. I thought Andy was just gonna like keep moving to a different block, jump on that with the feet, and then move to a different block and jump on that, but no. It oh, no, 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 it's not like that. It's not that involved. Good. Actually, I'm gonna uh, Google real quick. Baby's day out. Manga. Yeah, but this game, as I mentioned before, this game was a total bomb in the U.S., um, both reviews-wise and uh, 
and box office, but it did really well in India. And there have been remakes of this in various uh, Hindi Hindi dialects and the like. Wow. That's amazing. Nope, there is no Baby's Day Out manga. And uh, that's probably for the best. We've got 30 seconds left. Andy is definitely taking the victory here, with Chris and Keith is out of time and I think out of hope. Probably just out of breath, too, because this game is breathtaking. It takes a lot of stuff. Out of time? Yeah, what happens if you run out of time? Does your baby just, like, pass out from hunger? Okay. Whoa! I hit exactly two hours, Mike! Woo! Incredible! All that, Tim. We are so went, done. Went to we, good use. Yeah. Oh, hello, Andy. Hi. Already <laughs> jumping on in. Hey. Mm -hmm. I think I've lost too many brain cells. Oh my gosh. That yeah. was amazing. I, I loved watching this game. And I don't know. It's just so surreal. I don't think I ever want to play this game ever again. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy, let me say what the chat said about this game, because they didn't think this game was that awful, and they thought it was just aggressively mediocre. No, it's terrible. <laughs> it's the worst Kusa game I've ever played. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Good job, Mike. My work here is done. <laughs> yeah, so what, what exactly is bad about it, though? Uh, it's slippery, clunky... Um, awkward platforming, gotcha puzzles, also gotcha. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> well, gotcha's kind of funny, too. <laughs> but, it's funny, yeah, but it's there are, yeah, There's a lot of troll gotcha puzzles, yeah. and they yeah. only get worse in later stages. Yeah, and then it's like five minutes long. Like, these levels are long. Oh, there are stages with timers that are over ten minutes long. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not Hello, like this. Hello, Chris and Keith. Welcome. Yep, hello. Hi. What are your thoughts about this? Uh, not really a fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I can't blame you, especially the music in the area that you're in right now. Yeah, the Toy hurts. Store music is just hideous. So, I do want you to know, Andy, you managed to take the victory there, so... Hooray. Congratulations with Chris and Keith. Uh, that's okay, you're not eliminated, you get another endurance match or unfortunately get another endurance match <laughs> well, it won't be this game again at least no it won't that be this true game. it will not you're be free. this game you're free from this game forever yeah andy uh it's worth noting what kate said in the discord uh this game is 30 stages but i don't even know what number i'm on 15, <laughs> 15. oh dear you made a good this bit of the... progress I'm, I'm not gonna lie i am impressed but uh yeah both of you did better see which one was i on you were on, uh, how far did you get in the toy store? I think it was just on like the first toy store level or something. Uh, you are probably on stage 10 or 11 then. I believe um, so. So here's a question. Were those solutions on those levels intentional? Did I do those levels so, right? So, okay, <laughs> that level that you were stuck on for a long time with the cloud and the blue balls blocking your way, you did not use the intended solution. The intended right. solution which is what Chris and Keith did. did. Which is where I use a block to block the cloud before it spawns. Oh, you can block the cloud. Interesting. Yeah, I but mean, if it's still possessed the better. As, right. as the block, then you die. Because babies stay out. I assume that the cloud followed the same rules as the blue kind of warps, so that threw me off. I didn't realize it did that thing well, where if you were off screen, it doesn't follow you or something. I don't know. I just despawned them. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you use the look function, actually, you can despawn the clouds and the balls there. So uh, that ended up working for you, Andy. And I know you won't want to go farther in this in the game, but there's more objects for you to possess as oh, you go boy. later in the game. I don't know why, but there's so much. There, there's so many. It's what about the what about the, like the last level of the toy store? Was that the intentional solution? The false Going floor nonsense? The floor? Yeah. Yeah. That's My, actually yeah. the intentional solution? Mine says it is, but apparently it's not. What? That's how Mike did it, though. 
There oh. is a false floor there. Like, that's not a bug. Oh, good. Yeah, I I don't like, know I, I why thought, there's I thought there a was, I thought there wasn't gonna be a floor there at all at first, and I blew and then I blew it up. It's like, oh shit, there's a floor. Here. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh snap, there is a floor here. And then I just went through. I was like, oh, oh, it's so not really uh, a floor. And, so sorry. Andy and sorry. Uh, with Chris and Keith, there's someone in the chat who wants to know what your favorite levels are. Um, I don't know. First one was all right. <laughs> the, the first, first one. one. The first okay. One. The one That's with true. the question the marks. I missed those question marks. Yeah. Sorry for swearing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's okay. I'll forgive you. Uh, but seriously, like, it, it takes a lot to go through for two hours playing games. This is how everybody played every match in the original Cusa Grande. And there are certain games that I don't think you can really get a true flavor for what the game is without the two hours. Yeah, it sucks, but you're through this match, and so good job. Thank goodness, I'm free. And you get to move on to the Pure Terror round. Hooray! Yay! Pure well, terror. I'm not going to play this. I'm not going to play this. This is the worst game I've played so far in Kuso, period. <laughs> And, and, and you were in Dana's group, so you had to play some. Yeah, you played real weird trash. stuff. I did play weird stuff, but at least that was fun. <laughs> most of <laughs> most of my games are playable. This was kind of just uh, gets getting stabbed with a knife repeatedly, but then them patching it up so they can stab me again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm not too surprised of that assessment. It is not a trivial game at all. It is not. And the later stages only get even more evil. Like, there's this stage in the zoo that has a 10 minute timer and you pretty much need it. Oh, goody. I'm glad I'm not, didn't get there. <laughs> I mean, you were in the zoo. I, I wish I got there because then it would have won. Yeah, I'm still on the first level of the zoo. I, I knew as soon as I got here, I was like, this is going to be terrible because of all the things in front of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, and every stage is like that, you know. It, in the zoo, there's just continuous Yeah, they had to display objects. that you were in a cage and in a zoo, so that was how they decided to do it. Hooray. Again. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll go ahead and let you two get some rest, okay? So good job, Andy, for taking that victory. Uh, and, with Chris and Keith, and, don't worry, we got more. Honestly, Chris more and Keith, you also did a good job. You got a lot farther than like five of us did playing this game for two hours. Yeah, so. and we played together uh, and tried to figure out the solutions, and we just couldn't. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked how you did. Okay, well, let's go ahead. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry Mike went a bit weird there. Oh, it's okay. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I guess with Chris and Keith doesn't want to say anything else to me, so we'll just move on. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I mean, good games. Mm -hmm. Good game. Good games. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that yeah, we'll go ahead and take a break. I'm gonna go get some food, so that's it for the night. Uh, and Justin is trying to force me to go get a haircut, so we're go I'm gonna go ahead and do. That, let's see, I'm just trying to find someone to raid real quick. Who could we raid? How about L Rock? I love L Rock. And I think we gotta do a gotcha raid. Gotcha! Gotcha is a good line. Gotcha. Like, I, I can't think of. Or, there, there's also fine, period. So oh! It's fine. Yeah, we could do that. I like fine, period. But you can say gotcha if you want. You, either of those messages. If you have something better from Baby's Day Out, go ahead and do that. I'll see you all later on this week, probably Tuesday night. Thank you again, Mike and Keith and Andy. Thank you, bro, Sanchez. Bye. Bye. No Thank you. See ya. See ya.